Well, it's been a while. And I know that I haven't been doing a lot of uploading or talking lately, and for that I am sorry. And this sound is really distracting, so give me a second to mute that. Yes, there we go. Much better. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I've been out trying to get my life um, not back together, I guess, but more or less just get in a uh, more. Hmm, how do you put this? A more functioning state like this last year and a half has been really rough on me and financially I've been struggling and <clears throat> romantically thankfully I haven't um, again I uploaded a video you know I'm getting married and it was I wouldn't say it was out of the blue I fell in love with this woman and she she made me um, make a lot of changes in my life that I wasn't quite prepared for and not in a negative sense um, I've been diagnosed with a PTSD uh, clinical depression and severe anxiety disorder and uh, because of that I had to um, start taking various drugs for that Zoloft and that didn't work very well so now I'm using Lexapro and boy this stuff sucks man like I eat you never quite understand what people mean when they say, oh, yeah, you know, antidepressants suck, until you're actually <clears throat> using them. And I learned a lot about myself this last year, and, or year and a half, and we also have a hairless cat who's zipping around the room right now because it's three in the morning as I'm recording this, and she just likes to be a random ass animal like that. But, yeah, I'm. I'm a lot happier than I've ever been, honestly, and um, I don't know, it's just, you know, it's just strange, you know, like, I never know what to talk about when I do these videos because it's, it's just been such a weird transition for me, you know, never knowing what tomorrow's going to bring and then waking up and finding that I'm in love and I'm getting married in a year and like despite all odds we're making everything work we argue and we fight sometimes and we get on each other's damn nerves but like I've never met a woman who's like more patient and loving than her and just if you want to hear me gush for a little bit um Brie Brianna well she doesn't like going by Brianna and this game is really beautiful <laughs> I'm sitting over here watching it, watching a preview as I'm talking, and I'm just like, God. Like, Geometry Wars, I'll get into that in a second. But, yeah, Bree just, she made me want to be a better person. Like, she told me, you have to do this, and you have to do that, and you have to want to be a better person if you're going to want to be with me. And I was just like, yeah, whatever. I don't really care that much anyway. You know, trying to be a tough guy, I guess you could say. But, <sighs> I mean, let's be honest. When you fall for someone, you're going to fall and little do you know you're gonna do everything you can to get that person's attention and win that person's heart and that's what I did with her she made me <sighs> I mean even more so than my own son she made me realize that I need to be a better person not just to want to be a better person Marcus made me want to be a better person Bree made me become a better person and she She's been there with me along the way, and, like, <clears throat> we were really toxic and bad to each other initially. And, you know, we're still ironing out some of those kinks, but, comparatively speaking, every other relationship I've been in has been just massively unhealthy, compared, especially compared to this one. This relationship has just, we've gone from just, like, going days without talking to each other sometimes to just making everything work I guess you could say and you know she's she's a big help you know she made me want to be I'm starting to get choked up because I'm just like really happy and I love this woman so much you guys just don't know but she just she's such a good positive thing and I'm just glad that I met her and I'm glad that she's in my life and I'm glad that I have a place to gush about it even though no one really watches my videos anymore I don't care 
I have a place to talk about my woman and I'm gonna gush about her all the time. I'm gonna go see Endgame for the second or third time tomorrow, my kids tomorrow, so uh, I guess I should start wrapping this up because it's getting like past the halfway point and it's past it actually. But um Speaking of my kids, my son, um, he No 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 no. I'll talk about Marcus in another video, that's his own video that needs to be talked about. But um Geometry Wars. I could talk about this for a bit. The first Geometry Wars, when it was out on the Xbox 360, my friend Michael actually got me into building computers, ironically, the thing that I'm sitting on talking about. He invited me over to his place, and he was like, you ever heard of Geometry Wars? And I was like, ah, what the hell is that? You know, and he turns on this Xbox 360, and he has like this 47-inch plasma TV, and he's like playing this game for me, and at that point in my life, I think that was like the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. I mean, yeah, my current computer monitor is better than that TV, and I mean, Geometry Wars 3 is a prettier game, and I've played prettier games in general, but it was, it was mind-blowing, you know? It was something that I had never seen before, and because I was only playing my GameCube at that point, I didn't have the money for a 360. You know, I was just making like uh, seven bucks an hour at that point, and... <laughs> Oh yeah, I can talk about my job after this, but once I was able to, you know, get some money together for my um, own Xbox, the first thing I got off the uh, Xbox Live Store is Geometry Wars, and I haven't looked back since. I'm really proud of myself. Yeah. And finally, yeah, I guess I can talk about that a little bit now. My job, I've been working um, at my current job, like, I started working at my job uh, back in two 2016 when I moved back to Indianapolis. I forget what I went Dark Souls 3. The whole time I was playing Dark Souls, uh, I was living, I mean, I was back in Indianapolis, obviously, but I was working at um, Epson, my current job, and I've been there over three years at this point, and they do tuition reimbursement, man, so I'm going to college. I'm going back to college, guys. And this time I'm actually going to do something with it. I'm not going to disappoint you all gonna come back successful and hopefully less fat because I'm gonna start working out again I went on a diet lost 15 pounds and then gained uh, 17 back don't ask me how that happened or whatever anyway um <laughs> I guess that's all for now I didn't realize I was gonna be able to talk for four, what's this? almost eight minutes and stay focused actually eh. I guess it's nice to just do a life update every now and then. I'm just glad that you guys are here for me and here with me with all this stuff. And um, to people that are still around at least. And I'm going to hold on to that optimism that I get someone to come back in the future and look at my old videos and say, Hey D, happy to see that your life went from this point to that point and you're a happy and married man now. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all for tuning in for whenever you tune in, and I love you all. Peace out.